<laughs> over the edge of boring. <laughs> the boring part. Um, I love watching and feeding the birds. And we live on the edges of the forest. Thousands of acres of mountains. These are birch logs that my husband cut, and my neighbor Rudy, he's 90 years old, he enjoys doing things, and he uh, drills holes in his body. and I will fill them with goodies. I make my own goodies, you can make a slurry using But I think you could probably find somebody to make it for you. And you don't have to buy the logs. What you can do is just smear it on the tree, tree branch, of the trees where, that you have close to your house, where the birds are. And uh, just mix you up this slurry here. Equal parts of lard, equal parts of peanut, peanut butter. Makes perfect for smearing on the tree branches. Okay, now I'm going to add um, dry flour. It can be cornmeal. In this case, I'm using um, oats that I put through the blender. And uh, kind of an oat flour. Or you can use regular flour. Oh, I have arthritis, so my arms hurt me. So that you can use as your, your paste. This will uh, get hard when you uh, cool it down. This is warm. So that's that's perfect for smearing on the trees, and you will enjoy the chickadees, the nut hatches, the juncos. I don't know if the juncos eat off the tree, but we have two types of woodpeckers right now. We have the hairy woodpecker and the downy woodpecker. They have uh, they're about the hairy woodpecker is about the size of a blue jay, has red head, uh, red head, as well as the downy. Also has red head. And uh, they're, the hairy woodpeckers have longer beaks. Now, I took some cat food, and I put that in there. Um, a few freeze-dried blueberries that I had cut up. Um, some bird seed. But don't add, take, don't add the whole bird sunflower seeds. Because the some of the birds that enjoy this peanut butter uh, will just swallow that whole without uh, cracking the sunflowers. So I recommend do not add whole sunflowers. Now I have uh, freeze dried worms in there. If you look, I know it's kind of creepy. Those are freeze dried worms. They won't hurt you. In fact, you, you can crunch them. They're very tasty. 
No, they're not tasty. I wouldn't, ugh, I wouldn't eat them. Also, you can get a huge bag of bird feed for cheap. Get the chicks, chick starter, unmedicated chicken feed. And that's what this is. Unmedicated, unmedicated chicken feed. And uh, also, a little sugar. They like, and they need sugar. They need the fats. But the woodpeckers that I have, um, they're out there. They're kind of upset at me because their uh, feeder is, their logs, I have logs outside. And the logs don't have any goodies in them right now. So they're kind of mad at me. There's some oats and so I will uh, put this and you can put this outside in the freezer or outside when it's freezing cold and the temperature is uh, to make your own little um, little logs. Um, to put into the, I'll show you what I use. I use this for a melon baller and just make this and put this on a cookie sheet. And it's perfect size for putting into these holes here. So I'll show you later what what the birds, how crazy they go over this. So, you don't have to buy expensive bird seed and feeders. I think you can make a whole gallon of stuff for what one suet cake, suet cake cost. The lard is very inexpensive and Use, I read on some sites, I love Leslie the Bird Nerd. She is amazing. You have, I'll put a link in this. You will love Leslie the Bird Nerd. She, she's an amazing birder. She's up in the uh, northeast area above Toronto. I'm not sure, up in Canada. But you can tell she's about, <laughs> she's Canadian, the way she talks and she feeds the birds. You'll see the one uh, about the blue jays, Hermoso, Hermo, Hermio, and she had a uh, professional musician make some songs for her. This is amazing. I'm also a junior musician, uh, musician. I'm trying to learn how to play the piano and to read music. But at my age, it's quite difficult. Now, I like this log because it has little cuts. My neighbor, Rudy, he's 90 years old, and he loves doing stuff like this for me. Uh, but I like this because I like to jam the lard in there. And these li our little friends need all the fat that they can get because... When it's freezing temperatures outside, some of them, you know, die. Anyway, find somebody to make, just take a, a limb, a tree limb. I happen to have birch trees that I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to birch. Ugh. And uh, here's a tree limb with the uh, hook added to it. I like the natural look. And I hang it. Put it on pause for a second. We enjoy these, having this right outside our kitchen window. And a couple of times we've had a pileated uh, woodpecker who is as long as that log. He was as big as that log. But anyway, I'll show you one more thing. Larry Fuel, let's point over here. These are uh, the longer pine cones. And you can also wrap a wire around them, 
pipe cleaner, anything to secure it to hang. And you can fill that with birdseed like this. And your mixture here. And the word birds will spend hours picking all the goodies out. So, um, I don't know where you can find these pine cones. Uh, the sugar pine cones are the best. Um, they're hard to find here in Oregon. They're uh, more for Eastern Oregon. I'll show you a sugar pine cone. Hold on just a second. Here's the sugar pine cones. And uh, they're from the sugar pine pine trees. Now we have these. These uh, type of trees just down the street, the neighbor has them. I don't know what kind of tree that's from. I'm not very savvy with botanic botanicals. Can't even speak. Anyway, I fell and I hurt myself really bad, so I'm having a lot of pain. Anyway, God bless you and you enjoy birding. That is untold amount of, of joy and entertainment at no price, no cost. And God bless you.